Good morning, my lovers. Right, this is Saturday, the day after the the big geo fizzing day, and uh, they've done the field. I've seen the pictures, and it's a bit more of interpretation to try and work out what was there. Um, the main area of the field, which is the bit I thought they were going to do, but they didn't. Uh, they just did off to the side a bit. Anyway, so we are going to have to look. I will put the pictures up and uh, round about now. And as you're looking at it, you can just about see in the circled area. There's a there's a picture there's on that's lidar, so that's ground bumps recognition, and you can see a bit of a right angle. And on the other side, where the actual, the actual geophys that they did, you can see, again, a bit of a right angle. So, it's a very faint wall line. But it's a bit faint. Now, down to the right of the, right of the geophysics plot, you can see a lot of noise. A big sort of arc of noise. And I reckon that's where the main building is. And that noise is the disturbance of... Uh, people and animals activity over thousands of years ago so you know you can see that sort of noise in a sort of an arc to one side so when they come back and they redo the other side where the I think the main complex is I think we're gonna have uh, you know a nice Roman settlement or buildings to then further investigate at some point down the road what's that then No, I don't think it's lead. It looks like lead. Looks like some sort of old military badge. Right, I'll get a tough brush and I'll clean it up a bit. Dry brush it, I think, this one. Oh, there it is. All cleaned up. Don't know, I can't see any letters on it, but it looks old. It's got a crown on the top, shield. Very sort of corroded. So maybe Georgian. Hmm. Right. On to the next. Right. Now on the old CTX 3030, this said 1232, I think. Oh let's double check. I might have forgotten that. Yep, 12.32, so I reckon there's something in here, possibly a coin. You have to remember all these different numbers. <laughs> ah, not quite a coin. It's got gold on it though. A nice perfectly squashed bottle top. Yes, uh, looks like seven up. Oh, yeah, that, perfect that was. Look, lovely coin shape. Squashed to perfection. Right, on to the next. Right, I got something in here. This was 12.18, this one. So hopefully it's not a bit of foil this time. of uh, Roman pottery. It was a bit in the uh, shotgun cappy type area though. So it could be a shotgun cap. Oh, a bit ripped off. Huh. Oh, 
Oh yeah. It's a bit of rubbish. Got a hole in the top. But it's sort of shotgun cappy type material. Dunno. Bit of rubbish. But I have noticed with the old CTX 3030, you do tend to dig up nicer rubbish. You know, with my old macro, I was digging up foil all the time. But this seems to sort of like ignore the foily things. Weird. How you can dig up better rubbish. Right, on to the next. Right, I've got myself another target. I'm in the coin field. I had to make an escape from them pesky cows. So I think I might have something here. Now I did a lot of looking in this uh, field and I found loads of pre-decimal coins, but no silver ones. I found all the pre-decimals, uh, Georgian coins, George II coins, but no silver ones. So I've got the ultimate machine and now I'm going to have a look for some silver. I don't think this one is silver. So I can have a look. Now where's my spade gone? What have I done with it? Oh, I've lost my spade. Grandzard. Oh. Ah, there it is. A bit of foil. Right, I got this signal here, my lovers. Now, Pete, Crazy Cressy 7, he gave me a couple of programs to download. And uh, one of them is called Tadpole 4, and the other one's called uh, Ghost 4. And what you do is you, you search in one, Tadpole, and when you get a signal, and you think it's iron, you go to Ghost, and you put that program on and it'll tell you if it's iron. Now I've got this signal here and it sounds like it's iron but in the middle it sounds like there's a good target and on the machine it's saying 1216 so I reckon there's a target in amongst iron but I could be wrong it could be iron so I'm gonna have a look said it was four inches so it's not deep That's a stone. Right. Right, it's still saying 1217. So I think I might be onto a good target here. But like I said, it was around a lot of iron. Right, what have I done with my pinpointer? Let's just have a quick look. Just if we, just if we can see it. Because I've, I've put my pinpointer down somewhere and I can't find it. Right. Let's try it the old fashioned way. Nope. 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 Nope.
Now, I think I'm going to have to get my pin pointer. Right, back in a minute. I was right, there was a better target here. Here she blows, ring pull. Well, I got a signal just in here, and on the detector it said 12.09. I think 12.06 is gold, so it's not too far away from gold. So I reckon it's going to be another ring pull. Might help turn this thing on. Yeah, got a quite got a good pinpoint on this CTX3030. Right in the middle, look. Oh, well, it's coin shaped, but unfortunately, it looks like some electrical thing. Aluminium. That was giving me a very loud signal. Ugh. I won't fall off a ring pull. On to I'll show you what I got here. You see the screen? Easy to see it now, look. That's one of these, don't worry, these my sticky fingers I got underneath. This, I've put this stuff on there. You can get this special plastic to stop you scratching your phone or your tablet. And uh, well, I just cut a bit, cut it in half and stuck it on. That's where I just peeled it back and got, that's not a scratch, that's where I peeled it back. And uh, stuck it on and now I can see the screen for more angles because the screen on these is particularly shiny and this uh, plastic that you put on there has got like a little bit of a matte finish or vinyl and you can see it now from oh lovely stuff before it was really difficult to see oh not having a very good day today I haven't found a single coin I've been here six hours not a single coin I must have the settings wrong on this machine. You know, normally I'd dig some coins. And the other thing, the other metal detector was constantly going, blah, 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 you know, all the time. This thing, it's quiet, so quiet. It's just this hum in the background, like, mm. and uh, you'd be walking along, and then you get a target, and you oh, 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 what's that? It's a target, you know. It's a bit boring. Anyway, I thought I'd dig some of the lower grade signals. You know, because on the other machine, if you had a deep signal, you'd dig it because it was... It might... Deep signals tend to sound like iron. So I just dug a deep signal here. I'm down about well over a foot. I'll measure it on me speed. About a foot and a half. And this is what it is. Or shoe. So it works, it's picking up deep things. But um not the sort of deep thing I wanted. So that's my first bit of iron today. I don't fight you can you can see iron quite well. But uh it's got mich uh, what's it called? Ghost. You come across a signal, flick it into ghost and uh, it'll tell you if it's iron or not. I didn't bother this time because I thought, oh, I'll, I'll dig one of these deep iron signals and it turned out to be iron. So, mm, what I'm going to have to do is go home, press the reset button, reset the whole machine, because I must have done something to it, and then I'll upload the uh, programs again and see if that works. Because uh, it's a bit boring. Right, I'm off down the pub, I've had enough. Cheers!